Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I like to do some sort of themed shoot around holidays. For Valentine's Day the past few years, I've put my model slash photographer hat on and done different types of shoots. Some more traditionally romantic, but some more fun or even a little sinister. Last year, I offered you some fancy cupcakes in the high key studio setting. This year though, I wanted to get out of the studio and do something unconventional. I found a gem of a location near where I was doing a field trip. It's a ghost town called Grafton. It's a well-preserved town with several buildings and even a cemetery. I mean, what ghost town would be complete without a cemetery, right? Creepy. And I thought my spooky Valentine shoot could be pretty cool. So that's what I did. As Snapchick, I am tasked with coming up with titles for each of my shoots for my site. What you may not know though, is that those titles often originate at the very beginning before the shoot even occurs. I like to create a backstory for each shoot. The backstory may even come before the idea of the shoot is fully formed. It might actually help me come up with the idea for the shoot. Other times I create a story around a piece of wardrobe or around the end look and feel that I want for the photos. As a photographer, it can be a really good idea to share your story of the shoot with your subject. It will help them get into the spirit and that will be conveyed in your photo. As a model myself, I find that if I don't think about something, my photos can end up looking kind of dead. And this doesn't just go for me. I like to give my models these thoughts too, because those thoughts end up telegraphing onto their face and then the images. Now, the extent that you go into your story will range depending upon your subject. If you're talking about some traditional family portraits, you probably won't really give them a whole narrative. But if you're trying to pull some emotion out of a model, giving them a story to immerse themselves in will almost always create better photos in the end. So I mentioned that I sometimes take the title of my shoots from the backstory, and I almost always talk about at least part of my inspiration to my VIPs in their detailed videos for each shoot. But I feel like the stories don't have to be fully apparent to the viewers either. Maybe the viewer will come up with a story of their own, or maybe they'll simply appreciate a nice photo. Or maybe they'll look at the surface, say they don't like it, and move on. That's okay too. I'm gonna let you all in on the story behind this photo shoot. Imagine this. You come upon a deserted town. You're interested and decide to get out of your car and poke around a bit. You see a girl. She seems lonely. She offers to show you around the town, and you're only a little unsettled by her, the strange girl all alone. What is she doing here? But you take the tour because the town seems interesting, and the backdrop is such a beautiful sight. And there's this girl you see. She takes you around, telling you about the people that used to live here, exploring the buildings. But you get the feeling that she's trying to lure you inside. She doesn't seem to want you to leave, but you do. And as you drive away, you can't help but wonder. You didn't see any cars. How did she get here? Is she a ghost? Was she even really there? Or did you imagine it? This was certainly not your traditional Valentine's Day photo shoot. But you know what? I'm not a traditional gal. Sometimes it's fun to turn tradition on its head. And think about creating a story for your next shoot. If you do, let me know how it goes. I have a couple of these photos up at snapchick.com, plus a few camera settings. You can find a link to the post in the description of this video. And VIPs, make sure you log in while you're there to see the full gallery of photos and your special behind the scenes, on the scene video. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone.